Okay, ladies and gents. <laughs> Gotta remember the guys. Here is, um, I call this my spring album. It, uh, it was really cute. It was fun to make. I used a little uh, white picket fence that I got at uh, Hobby Lobby in the woodcraft section and painted it and distressed it. And then I got a stem of flowers. I just cut them off and glued them here and there. There's a little bird and I made a, make, made a little bird's nest in there and another bird. And these are some stickers I got at uh, uh, Michael's. I think they're the recollection sticker set and I just cut it up to make it work for my page here. And I did some pearls around the edge. These these are from Hobby Lobby too. Um, I left a little space here. I think I'm going to put some kind of wording or something there. I'm not sure yet. And there's some pearls. And when you open it we have a tag in each pocket. I just did some stamping. Uh, this is some of the Tim Holtz stamps. And then I did a just a flower here. And you can put photos or whatever there. There's a tag. And I just stamped it for journaling. Yeah, it's got a little place here. Now I wanted to show this ribbon. I got this ribbon at um, Hobby Lobby. As you can see, it, come, it comes in white. Lately, I've been buying um, my stuff in white and coloring it myself. And I used the uh, Glimmer Mess Tattered Angels. This is the Rose Tea that I used for this one. This is a Can Company. It was already made, pre-made. And I had to buy it so that I could uh, make my own. It kind of gave me the uh, inspiration to do my own, as you'll see throughout the album. And then this one here is um, just layered flowers with little crochet flowers I bought from a lady on eBay. And just uh, these flowers here, um, I just buy big stems of them on clearance and then cut them up. And this one here is a little slider for uh, a little rick rack here. And then, and then I put this card in here. This has a little um, glue with glitter around the edges, another crocheted flower. And this says, uh, imagination is more important than knowledge. For a while, knowledge defines all the currently known and understood imagination leads us all to leads us to all we might yet discover and create. I love that. And then the back is just paper. Oh and the paper. Let me show you the paper. Paper is by this is all I have left. It's a collection pack that I got. I don't know if you can see the with the glare. Oh. It's by, it's called Indulge, and it's by Basic Gray. This is the collection that I used for this. It came with um, these tags. And in the back, just a little tag. I get on there and some ribbon. Oh, and then each one has a big tag. I like using the big ones. And I use a little pearl to hang from here. A little journaling spot. This one here is a little card that goes in there. And this is done um, on my Cricut. Cut this out on my Cricut and um, used a Tim Holtz tea dye stamp to color it. And then I used a little bit of um, this metallic uh, folk art. Um, it's called aquamarine and I just rubbed a little bit on there and then I used my embossing pen and filled in where I wanted the gold embossed to show up and embossed it. So I got this like vent, um, petite look in it. And then I did some journaling on this side. And then here's one of the um, flowers that I was inspired by the cane company I made. I cut the edge, the edge out with, uh, it's a tulip stamp, that's what I have it over here, Martha Stewart, I actually got this one at, uh, oh, let me think here, uh, Ross, on clearance for like $3, awesome deal, but I cut a big strip out with that, and then um, folded it, did the um, Mountain Valley, and then glued it, and put a little flower in the center. 
And this little um, thing right here, I don't know if you can see that, I'm going to bring it up to the camera, this right here, it's, um, shh, don't tell anybody, Starbucks. <laughs> I save my little um, things that you put on your cups to keep from your hands getting too hot, and I used it to make my pocket with. And then, of course, here's some more of this ribbon. This one here, I didn't do anything to, I just added a little bit of some flowers. Another tag. And I always leave a spot for some of the pearls. Another one of the flowers ins inspired by Cane Company again. And of course I always, well I guess I didn't on this one. I'll leave that one, sorry. But there's at least another space here for pictures and journaling. This one I did. You can put it something behind that. This was um, cut out and um, mod podge to the page. And then this one here, um, I cut it out and then I did a little bit of um, embossing and added some little tiny pearls to it. Another tag. This one was fun. This was a bird that I cut out one of our local, my local um, scrapbooking stores in Matsuhachi had this die and I cut out um, three or four of them and brought them home. And what I did to it was is took some, um, um, I embossed it or colored it with um, Tim Holtz's, uh, I think it's a rose, some kind of rose, I'm not sure what, anyways, rose color, and then um, sprinkled the um, antiquing antique gold, gilden gold is what it's called to it. And then this here was from the Tim Holtz grunge um, angel wings that he had and I just cut it up to make an extra wing for her. And then she's got enough room behind here to put pictures or this tag that I made. It has a little journey on it. I think this one went under here. Yeah. Another tag. And this is just a flower that I glued and some lace. This here is from over here. Sorry, ladies, I was shaking everything. And gents, it's the botanical um, note cards. And I just used that for the back of this. And the tag. These are two uh, little um, flower doilies. I colored with um, Tim Holtz embossing inks. And this one here I um, did with the Tattered Angels. Color that. Another tag. Another page. This is the Prima flower. And I put it on top of a, a bigger flower. And then here's a little, um, you can put something in here, some extra pictures or whatever. There's that. Thanks for watching.